Welcome back guys and in this lecture we're going to be understanding standard input from our keyboard in scholar context. So again this is section 4 lecture 9. So let's jump right into it. So understanding standard input in scalar context. So what is standard input? Well standard input is also known as the line operator. So the line operator or standard input receives input or information typed in from our keyboard or the user's keyboard. So it returns the line of text from the user keyboard into our Perl program followed by a new line character at the end when the enter key is pressed. So an example is just to declare our scalar variable and assign it our standard and input or our line operator. So always remember it's in all capital letters STDIN inside our less than sign and greater than sign or our diamond operators. So after that we want to remove the the new line character so of course we add a parenthesis a left parenthesis followed by the variable name and we go down to print and we can actually print out the value inside our scalar variable that was typed in from the user keyboard so let's do some examples now so first thing first let's start with a while loop so I'll show you guys a really simple and quick way to set this up so we start off with our while loop followed by parentheses skip a line and let's put our curly braces for our block of code and inside the parentheses let's type a scalar variable I'll just name it line is equal to standard input okay now once we do that let's use our favorite chomp operator and again what the chomp operator does it just removes the new line character so I'll do that I'll paste that in and let's actually print what's inside our line variable or what we've previously typed from our keyboard so again what this is going to do it's going to take our standard input or our information from our keyboard stored inside of our variable called line it's going to remove the new line character from our from our value or whatever we typed into our key keyboard at the end of the line and we just want to reprint it so if we run click run script this is how we know that it's waiting for our standard input you'll see a blinking cursor in your shell terminal so I'll type my name Victor Davis and if I click the return button or I push the return button on my keyboard look what happens it reprint reprinted the line of text from our keyboard Victor Davis so I'll do it again JDN Forte and it does it again so pretty much what it's doing again it's recording a line of text from your keyboard and just jumping down to our block of code because it's true and it's reprinting what we wrote so again I'll type in Bobby Harris and it re-enters it again so pretty much that's it for our standard input all it does is that it waits for information from the keyboard and once you press the return key it collects that information and we can save it into a variable 
which we can use that value for later. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And I'll see you guys in our next lecture.